Good evening. Welcome to the Queen Anne's County Board of Education work sessions for May the 19th. Um, do I have a motion? Pursuant to the general provisions, Article 3-305, the Board of Education of Queen Anne's County will meet in closed session, to discuss a matter directly related to negotiating strategy and to discuss matters that relate to, to the negotiations. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Call for the motion. All in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, ayes have it. We'll be back in about a half an hour. Welcome to Queen Anne's County Board of Education work sessions for May the 19th, 2021. We stand for the pledge. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, um, members, you've had a chance to look at uh, minutes for May the 5th, open, closed, and executive. And we also have May the 4th, executive, closed. Has everybody had a chance to read those? Mm -hmm. yes. I have a motion. Motion to approve the minutes for May, all of minutes for May 5th and all the minutes for May 4th. Second. Second. Any further discussion? No. All those by favor say aye. 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 Ayes have it. Okay, we have agenda. Uh, do I have a motion? Mr. Smith, may I make a motion to amend the current agenda to include 3.07 new superintendent contract approval? Do you have a second? Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye, aye, aye. Mr. Smith, I make a motion to approve the amended agenda. I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, guys. Okay. Um, our first president. Yep, Towers is going to come and talk with us about the restricted budget. You noted that is 3.06, so we're just moving farther down. No, adding 3.07. It's adding it. I know, but we're at 4.1 now. We're at 3.1. No, 3.01 is, it's been removed. Okay, I'm sorry. I got the wrong agenda. That's okay. Gotcha, okay. You're on. Good evening, President Smith, Dr. Kane, board members. Tonight we bring before you restricted budget adjustment one and two. Just some background on this. Normally you're used to seeing restricted budget amendments for the unrestricted. We need to start bringing restricted as to the board quarterly or monthly like we do our unrestricted. And that way it gives you an opportunity to take a look at what grants that have been awarded to us. And it's based upon COMAR too. Um, so, but budget, um, Restricted budget amendment number one. If we want to take a look at that, the first column, I'll explain. I'm looking at this Excel spreadsheet here that we have. If you look at the first column here, the total amount is 7,376,465. And that was from the approved budget for fiscal year 20. So that was our starting point. Throughout the year, we've received different grant awards. And there's actually a listing that I've provided for you. And it lists all the grants that we've received so far this year. And you can take a look, it's over 88 grants. Uh, the restricted amendment number one is for 2.6, a little over 2.6 million. And that gets us to where other than the two ESSER grants, so we're looking for approval on the restricted. And like I said, going forward, either quarterly or monthly, as we get grant awards, it will be taken for approval like we do the unrestricted budget amendment. So this 2.6 million is additional grants that have come in throughout the year. Correct. And we're just wrapping them all up to finish up our fiscal year this year. Mm -hmm. So uh, Comar specifically states in uh, Comar 5-1-05, that the board must approve the source, the funding source, along with the manner in which it's being used. It's just something that I'm used to taking and just wanting to get us updated and that way you have it for your review too as well. So this $10,028,890 that's already been spent. Not spent, it's been awarded to the school system. Okay. In, in fiscal year 20. And then this is the list of all the different ways and places that it's going to. Yes. Correct. Okay. So 
this, sh I mean, I would think in, in the future should maybe be brought to us quarterly or something yes. uh, on a, rather than the last. Definitely. It, it hasn't been done in the past. I've looked through board docs do through the years, and it's just something that it, it puts on everyone's radar, too, that we've gotten this grant award and that this is going to be the purpose of the grant. And these grants come in throughout the year, I know, all the time we get. Correct. I well, just got what Mr. Page was just here telling us they got $100,000 to do something. It was great. So, And then that way you can see it in list form then, too, as well. As, and okay. you notify periodically. Mm -hmm. well. I think that, that would be a lot better to see it, you know, as we, as we you know, we, we hear about them and all of a sudden they come in. And if we do it like on a quarterly, if you could get... Uh, with the superintendent or myself and make sure we put this on the agenda on a you know on a basis that you feel comfortable with of course so right now you need a motion from us to accept the, uh, is it is it going to be two million or is it to me the 10. it yeah. is going to be the um let's, budget uh, number one will be the two million six hundred fifty two thousand four twenty four which will bring it to the ten million twenty eight thousand eight ninety would be the for the first one that we bring before you tonight okay so here, restricted budget amendment number one, physical amount of $2,652,428. Uh, budget source is restricted funds on FY21. So moved. Any further discussion? It's $424. I think you said $428. i am sorry. Mm -hmm. $2,652,424. Correct. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. I think you need a second. You need a second first. I'll second. I have a first, a second, any discussion? All those in favor? Saying aye. 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 Let's have it. Four up. All right, the restricted budget amendment number two that we bring before you tonight is for the two ESSER grants, ESSER one and ESSER two, totaling 3746613 So the first ESSER care funds of the 720000 mm -hmm. Um, that's already been spent. Uh, correct. Okay. And we spent a portion of it on books with the ESSER two last meeting. Uh, the the ESSER two, it, it was correct, approved for the summer workbooks, yes. Okay. And then uh, tonight there will be also for the, uh, is it reading, Dr. Kane, the LEA? Correct. The, oh, the materials of instruction? Mm hmm Yes. That's needed? Yes. Do we have any questions? Bye. Yeah, I do. I, I would like to see a revised on the ESSER 2, because I think in my emails to everyone, I was asking if we couldn't approve it as we go along as it's needed in July. Um, really, I mean, we have $3 million we need to spread a little bit further. I, I understand about summer school, and I certainly want to do the materials instruction for summer school, which we can do at 3.05. Um, but right now, the 720000 we can go ahead and approve because it's already been spent. But I would like to have, uh, have, you know, the PPP and all the other things that were listed on there. I'd really like to have a better number on that before we go ahead and approve all three million dollars. Yeah, a, a thought could be, if if you would like, is to, to maybe have a committee like the policy committee uh, for um, the ESSER two. Now, what um, we're asking tonight is to actually uh, approve the award that's given to us and the manner in which it's to be used, and the manner in which it's to be used is covert. covert related and learning loss. I think maybe what um, you're trying to say is the direction that you want to give the superintendent or the staff is that is that um, any anything for expenses that you would like to either see to committee or maybe email first or well, I mean you've sent us this about the materials and instruction for summer school which definitely needs to be purchased now through those funds. Yes I would like to see uh, I would, I would like to see an up-to-date what we're going to be doing come July 1st. I would like that, you know, I don't want to do it all in one fell swoop and we need it for later on. Um, we first have to approve the award and then I think you want to give direction that going forward that any expenses would have to be approved yes. by the board. Yes. So, yes. so that motion can be made? Let me make this clear. What we're asking for now is this is to accept the grant Award. Award. Yes. And ESSER 2, I think, goes to September 24. Uh, 23. 23. ESSER 3 goes to 24. Okay. So so this $3,026,041, we have time 
Right. What you're doing is accepting the grant under certain things. We still have the ability to move this around? Correct, so the request is to accept the award and then it, it sounds like the direction of the, the board would be is um, that any requests would be either run through a committee or through the through the board, so the or first step- Through the superintendent, would, through the board. Correct, correct. And uh, we have Mr. Kintot here because there's gonna be a couple other things that he's gonna need to purchase too as well for the summer school program in addition to the workbooks that are coming through. So this needs to be amended anyway? Is it, yes. Okay. But this is in the back sheet on here, does have everything where it's being sent to? Or mm, no, we, we got a list for the ESSER two funds. We, we were given a list and of course the needs have changed since February right. for when it was approved. So that's why I'm asking, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a working document at this point because all those funds are not gonna be allocated to where they had originally thought. Yes, well, there's some PPEs that needs to be purchased, and yes, there's some stipends that have to come out of there. Summer school um, you know, staff has to be paid. Workbooks have to be bought. Um, there was a few other things in there that I, I had sent some questions over. So uh, you know, if we have to accept it now, that's fine, but I would definitely have it with the caveat that the board gets to see the expenditures and approves them. Would that be through email or, or yeah, however you, okay, okay. All my information I got here, <laughs> the last page has That's restricted budget amendment number two for S or two. Yes. But it, then it's totaling 13 million 775. Correct. That it, is one, two, and what else? It is your original plus restricted one and restricted two amendments. We are busy in the grant department. Normally, mm. we, we see around um, eight million a, a year in our federal grants, and, and as you can see, we're at 13.7 now, and it doesn't even, in, you know, in, in you know, three. It, it, three. I just three. tend to agree with Tam, which is to prove the blanket amount, but I think we really do need to take a look at how it was, how it's being distributed. There are some different needs and, and it's really changed now with the PPE stuff and, and what might be re needed by some of the schools. Um, and to could, could I ask Mr. Kentuck to come up because there may be some additional items that he will need and I don't want to hold him up um, in addition to what is going to be presented tonight at 3.05. Um, come on, Mr. Kentuck. Sure. And Ms. Towers, is this also this, is this where we would pull, possibly pull that million from? Yes. Or, okay. Correct. Thank you for coming. Good evening. Um, as far as the summer programming goes, the, the, the concern that I have is if in each of the line items that we put in, which we did put in in February, because we are estimating who is going to be in summer school, what we're going to need supply-wise, what I would ask is the approval of the money to run the summer school program with the knowledge that there may be amendments to it because we may not use everything that we had originally planned for. But if we're only approving workbooks, say, at this point, we have planning money that we have to pay people, we have to put out a salary to get teachers to want to be a part of this. We have to be able to allocate, say we've got this much money assigned to pay. We've got transportation needs that we're meeting with the LLCs that we have to be able to say we have the money secured that we can do buses, the PPE that we'll need, all those types of things we have to plan for now. We have to know that that money will be there and not do all that work and get there and then all of a sudden possibly have a change and say we can't do those things. So I, I understand what you're asking about in, in the big picture, but as far as the summer school program goes, most of the things that we're planning, we kind of have to lock in now so that we can start getting people on board, getting positions in place and things of that nature. Do we by chance have a ballpark? No, we, we're given it at the last meeting and I apologize I didn't bring those sheets here. Do we have a ballpark figure on that? I don't, the ESSER two grant was broken down um, based yeah, on I supplies know, I know. You, and yeah. not just summer school per se. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I mean, I guess the question is like in summer school, with the, the uh, uh, staffing, transportation, supplies, and incidental things, are we talking one, one and a half, two million or something? I mean, just a rough figure. I 
it together here. And it's not a rough figure, it's an exact Pressure. figure once you use it, but you know, <laughs> things can vary depending on uh, what anticipation we have in this industry. Because program. we can make motion now and, and knock so that out right to, now. Yeah, just to be clear, the board's responsibility is to allow the district to receive those funds, mm -hmm. not a line by line, yes, no, that's not, that's not the manner, right, in which you have authority. That's the superintendent and the staff job. If it falls over the threshold for 25,000, that's coming to the board. Which are the two workbooks that we brought one, the math last time and the, the language, the English and language these here. this time. Okay, great, thank you so much. I, I, I thought back in June that we had already granted the 720000 back in yeah. June of 2020. Um, that is correct, but that was for fiscal year 20. Uh, actually, 21, the funds weren't even spent. used. But they were used in July of 2020. 20. So I got you. Thank you. It. Yes. Appreciate it. That. At this point, Mr. Smith, we are just being told to allow the acceptance of the three three million seven hundred thousand. So, uh, the bottom line looks like we're being asked to approve the grant, accepting the grants as number one, two, and it's going to be in this next year because it's coming up in July. Correct. That's when it will be spent. Yeah, and the total the total will be three million seven hundred forty six thousand six hundred twelve dollars and ninety eight cents, and the restricted funds. By what the grant will be spent. So moved. Though, right? yeah. okay. uh, if, if I can interject, some of it will be um, spent in in June um, to oh, pay for of the this year, and, but and things like that. A lot, some so of, yeah, summer school starts on June seventeenth. So sal some salaries and some costs will be incurred. But this before is, July this is to give authority to do to at least uh, get that started. Right. Mm -hmm. So so moved on your motion. I have a second. 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 Any further discussion? All this is very safe by saying aye. 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 Ayes have it 4 0. Thank you, Mr. Thank Kentop. You. Thank you, Ms. Towers. Have a good summer. <laughs> so, next, Mrs. Smith is going to come forward. We have two contracts for approval um, for special education. Good evening, President Smith, Dr. Keene, board members, executive team members. Um, I come before you tonight to request approval for an amendment to an existing contract for, I believe, is Alliant the first one you have? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Um, it's for an additional $26,000 to be added to the original contract amount, and that was um, to offset additional services that were required as a result of COVID. Um, so we had to do additional assessments this year, and we've also had to pull additional services during the summer that we didn't originally anticipate. I had a quick question. We um, had tabled this on May 5th, I believe, and on the amount asked for on May 5th, it said the current contract was 126,000 and you're asking for an additional 10,000 for a total of 136,000. And now two weeks later, you're asking for 141,000. Where did that difference come in? So when I originally put the, the yellow sheet in the, at the last board meeting, I had, was working off of a spreadsheet that I have in my office and my, administrative assistant had already added the amount on there and I wasn't aware of that, so I was using an incorrect number. So if you added the additional amount that I was originally requesting to the last amount, you'll get this amount. And when this says, ma'am, when this says unrestricted special education category, that is out of which dollars? Local funds. Local funds, thank you. And it says it affects two schools. What two schools there? Uh, this particular provider uh, provides services at Stevensville Middle School as well as Bayside Elementary School. But I will tell you that she's also been providing services to other schools as well. So one of the months, for example, that she was working that was unanticipated was during the month, the summer months. And so she was covering assessments throughout the county. And this is the same issue we've had in past years of not being able to hire this, this staff person, right? 
we did make some progress this past year and we were able to hire two direct hire school psychologists. So we only have one to go. Yay. Okay, Debbie. So to uh, make a motion to approve the amended contract purchase order for Sully and Health for school psychology services for the total inc uh, imp impact dollar amount of $141,510.50. Budget source is unrestricted special education category. And basically all they're asking this time is for an additional $26,000 for that. Bring that number to that. Any, do I have a second? Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Ayes have it, 4-0. So I also bring before you um, a, a similar request for Chesapeake Speech. Um, this particular provider covers two providers and it's a total of four schools. Um, same situation, we had additional assessments. We've actually had more assessments this year than we originally anticipated because of learning loss and, and suspected disabilities. Um, so in this particular case, the amount is 52,000 and that is to get us through the month of um, April, May and half of June. And again, same question last time, two weeks ago, we asked for 192,000 and now you're asking for 207,000. Exact same situation. So it was just the number was already there and I wasn't aware of that. So that's my error and I apologize. I thought I had more sitting on the purchase order remaining than I did. Okay, thanks. And this is also coming out of unrestricted special ed, which is out of our operating budget. Correct. For that. Just out of curiosity, we anticipate the same problem next year. I know it's, I know it's, it's a moving target because you never know because it can vary a lot. But I don't anticipate the number of assessments um, that we had this year in terms of them being contracted positions. I don't foresee a big difference there. Um, it's just not a position that we're easily able to fill um, directly, but I, I anticipate a slight decline in assessments. I don't think it's the same decline that we'll see in the year after that, just because again, I think we're kind of still in that flux state and we still have a lot of students that are out and not in. So being out it probably affects it more as far as? Yeah. Um, it does, yes. And, and I anticipate that a lot of our students that were out um, to be homeschooled will come back. And when they do that, if they've been gone, you know, away from us for a period of time, we do have to reassess them. I've got a request for a track contractual amendment approval for Chesapeake speech. Uh, for additional 52,000 on the current contract of 155,400 for a total of 207,400 uh, out of uh, unrestricted special education category. Do I have a second? Second. Do have any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Ayes have it 4 0. Thank you, Ms. Smith. Yeah, I think, am I the next one? Are you also doing staffing. a special staffing? So this was the presentation that Ms. Smith shared with us uh, during the last board meeting. And this time we are seeking approval for this staffing, the special education staffing plan that was presented. We just do the whole, the whole thing. Yes, there haven't been any changes to that. Okay. Um, it, I just didn't have a yellow sheet for you last time, so. And this is both unrestricted and restricting on the operating budget. Correct. So this is the whole plan? It's the whole uh, plan. All the personnel, no additional FTEs. Do I have any other things, Mrs. Smith? I have a FY special education staffing plan approval for FY 22 special education staff for submission to Maryland State Department of Education. Uh, budget source FY unrestricted and restricted operating budget we've seen. So uh, moved. I have a first and a second. Do I have any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 4 0. Did you second? You did. Oh. I'm sorry. <sighs> you just moved right along. It's okay. Right along. Recrack. Uh, no, no, this please, please. Seconded please, seconded would, would, it. You have some? No, I didn't know if we got a second. Oh, I thought Tan. She moved. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Gotcha. Have a nice Thank you. Thank you. So our next contract is for WonderWorks for English language arts uh, materials of instruction. And we have 
Mrs. Pullen, I'm sorry, Mrs. Passon, okay. ELA supervisor, and also Mrs. McNeil, early childhood, among other things, Title I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are all Thank those hats in there. Here. <laughs> yes, good Walk in with your hats on. <laughs> good evening, President Smith, Dr. Kane, and board members. We're here tonight to ask uh, for approval of funding for, as Dr. Kane stated, our WonderWorks uh, interactive text and the teacher edition companion to support uh, K through five uh, in our summer program we've created to to help with uh, our, our students recover uh, learning. Uh, the cost is $43,365.93 from ESSER 2. I just had a couple questions. I noticed on the quotes that were prepared, it said uh, WonderWorks 2014. Is that when this program was developed, was in 2014? Yes, so we have WonderWorks 2000, we have Wonders 2014 in K through five right now. So this is a supplemental piece to what we already have in our schools. Okay. If we went with a different year, we would have had to go through the whole MOI process and, and pilot things, and so we're not there. And so that's, it, it says it's for a year, so are we using this for two summers, or is it just the summer? Is that just they, we it, all of the things that it was for? What does it say? This is just for the two different summer programs. Right, but it it's says, but on the... Um, it's a year subscription, that's all they sell. They don't do, just they just do a year. Oh, unfortunately. So could we use it for... We can year? certainly use them and send them on with our students to be used for uh, small group instruction next year. Yes. And this, this is the number of students we're going to have in the summer program. This, this, I mean, we have a good count on what that's going to be needed for and all that. I know it's well, probably a moving target at some times. We, we plan for the optimal amount, which would be 36 divided by 2, 18 in each session. So that is the number so that we wouldn't have to keep coming back to you or come to you in the middle of each set because we'll be lucky to get these in by the, by the first day of the summer program if they are so approved. Um, we thought right. we'd come to you with the optimal, with the maximum request. So this is so, but you have to. Do you buy this in advance, or do you then just find your number and then order it, or do we just have? We it? don't have all our numbers yet. So right now we're ordering for the maximum amount of students per grade level that we will we will and we as, can permit. As Ms. Bennett said, it can be used later if we had to. Yes, absolutely. They will follow the students. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the students get to keep their interactive text. Any other questions? We have a motion for WonderWorks K through five summer school to request approval of purchase materials and instead of textbooks for the reading, reading, English, language, arts, summer program K-5. Physical impact is $43,365.93 and the budget sources as no till. So moved. Second. Motion on the second. Any further questions? I'll, all in favor say aye. 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 Four oh. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you both. Thank you. Good night. Next, we have Mrs. Pullen with a capital request. President Smith, board members, and Dr. Kane. For the record, my name is Carla Pullen. I'm serving as the interim chief operating officer. I'm here with you this evening to request approval of a contract with JCI Simplex to replace the fire alarm system and the associated components at Churchill Elementary School. Our current fire alarm system there was installed in 1997. It is now obsolete. It's very difficult to get parts when something is no longer working. Because it's a life safety component, it is a priority project for us to complete this summer. We are utilizing the SourceWell Cooperative Purchasing Agreement, which is an already bid contract for this particular contract. This system will give us an upgrade to voice evacuation and also remote operation, which is more state of the art than what we currently have in that building. 
the cost implication is $159,053.92. This is a state funded project as well. So there is a cost uh, difference split between the state and the county funding that was budgeted for in fiscal year 20. So I am requesting your approval tonight for this project and I am happy to answer any questions that you might have. Well, is this a firm fixed? Yes, it is. Yes, lump sum pricing based on that cooperative contract. So it's it was it's a sole source, or, or it was bid out to. It was bid as part of the cooperative contract, okay. so they received the okay. bids, and then because we uh, participate with SourceWell, that's right. We are able to utilize that bid pricing as well. Thank you. And have we, we've dealt with this company before? We have, yes. We standardize with Simplex. Um, it's the ease of our maintenance staff um, working on the Simplex system, as well as ease of getting parts. We don't have to go through a distributor like we do with some of the other systems. We can get the parts direct. And JCI is Johnson Controls. Yes. Most of our buildings in the are automation. All, automations yes, are all much of our automation. And they now own Simplex. Wow. Yes. So our maintenance staff is familiar with it, and I mean, it's... They are. It's it's their preferred. They have the knowledge to work on it and do a lot of that maintenance in-house. How long do they anticipate it, it? How long do these systems now last if we're... About 20 years is the typical. I make a motion, sir. Mm -hmm. To approve the contract with JCI Simplex to replace the fire alarm system and associated components at the Churchill Elementary School. Fiscal impact dollar amount $159,053.92. Budget for sources FY 2020 state capital funding of $81,117.50. And FY 2020 capital, a county capital funding of $77,936.42. Second. A motion and a second. Do I have any further discussion? All those in favor of saying aye. 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 Four oh. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Thank you. Okay. 3.07, sir. 3.07. Ms. Harper, do you Thank want to address that? Or? I appreciate that, sir. Uh, I need, uh, as you know, the board members have been going through the process of uh, interviewing for a new superintendent. Uh, I'd like to make the motion to approve the uh, four-year contract for the superintendent's position starting on July 1st, 2020 to Dr. Patricia Salings. Second. Second. Discussion? I think we've gone through a long uh, process and I, I feel very happy about this. I think uh, we've come to a consensus, a c complete consensus, and it's been a very positive uh, thing. May, I want to thank also May for helping us out with this uh, consulting thing. Um, Ms. Uh, Wright, could you do roll? Yeah, roll, just call us each. Oh, roll call, sorry, mm -hmm. I didn't hear. Yeah, first and a second, I'm sorry. Mr. Smith? Yes. Ms. Harper? Yes. Ms. Morissette? Yes. Ms. Bennett? Yes. Unanimous vote. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Thank you. Okay, our next agenda, we have future school board meetings. Um, but uh, June is second school board meeting and June is 16th a work session. But may I suggest we probably need to put on the 26th a budget for next Wednesday. Does uh, board members have a, Ms. Dr. Kane, do you? The, this county will be looking at their budget on the Tuesday. Um, we're going to have to make some decisions after that. Uh, we've got, you know, a lot of our numbers in, but uh, there can be some decisions that have to be made. And I guess we still have um, the state with a couple floaters out there. We're hoping to get approved by then. Does everybody feel comfortable with a meeting on the 26th? Yes. I have a suggestion for a time, four or five o'clock. Or generally, your uh, work sessions are five o'clock. Five o'clock. Is five o'clock good for everybody? Okay. Sorry for your yes. staff. Yes, we will be here. Okay, so I'd like to uh, post that, Jeff, that we'll, we'll have a, uh, another work session on May the 26th where we budget. Uh, June the 2nd will be our school board meeting, and June the 16th will be another work session, uh, which is going to be closing out our um, this year's school year. Mr. Smith, may I ask to, uh, we have the 21 22 uh, school board meeting schedule. We have not approved that. Mm -hmm. um, are we going to do that at the June meeting, sir? Yes, I think we'd look at that at the June meeting. Okay. 
I think everybody needs to take a hard look at that because we got a few things we got to do in June and July. Um, but uh, okay, thank you, sir. We can bring that up. Uh, do I have a motion to go into? Pursuant to the general provisions, Article 3-305, the Board of Education in Queen Anne's County would like to move into executive closed session to discuss the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom this public body has jurisdiction and to perform an administrative function. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Good evening. Thank you all. Thank you.